Hey everyone, today I'll be doing a quick video tutorial on using KeyTuner for the 2016 and newer Honda Civics that have the 1.5 liter turbocharged engine. Um, through KeyTuner, um, I'll be showing you the included base maps that you can fiddle around and change so that you can give your car an, a little pep to to its step really to make it a little bit faster a little bit more enjoyable even though you do have a CVT transmission so without further ado um, let's go to the program itself as of this video um, the K tuner program is running the 1.0.9.6 version that's the newest one out so make sure you have the newest program the newest software for K tuner installed, downloaded, installed, and all good to go. And make sure you have your KTuner unit plugged into your computer. So once you have all that technical stuff to over and done with, let's go to file, open up a new tune. So within here, you'll see if you have your KTuner unit properly locked to your ECU, you'll see your car show up, you'll see the ECU number there, and you'll see the CVT, make sure you have the right uh, ECU number there. We'll click next, and you'll see all the different uh, base maps that are available. So for the sake of this video, I'll be using the starter dual target 21 PSI, hit next. Let it run through a little bit. <clears throat> then from there, on uh, left hand side, I'm just going to expand some of these windows here. Uh, the real big thing to take a look at uh, for most people, disables and monitors. Depending on what sort of um, aftermarket mods you have on, on your car, you may need to disable a couple extra things, such as uh, P0420, the catalyst efficiency, and the P0138 and 139 for the O2 sensor slow response. Really those two are big ones in the case you have an aftermarket downpipe, particularly if you do run a catalyst setup. Also secondary ECT may need to be disabled depending on if you do run a flex fuel kit or not. But besides those disables and monitors, um, let's go to the next big one, mass scaling. If you do have or plan on purchasing a, an aftermarket intake, um, pay close attention to make sure that, hey, this is the same math, uh, math, math, sorry, math housing size. Um, in case you do have a math housing that's larger than stock, uh, for example, PRL, you will need, um, besides PRL, um, you will need to get a custom tune for it. Luckily on these base maps, PRL race math calibration is already included in there. So props to PRL, working with KTuner to get that on there for your base maps. But if you do have a map that's um, larger than um, OEM stock size, um, you probably won't see it here. These are the only ones that are available right now. As far as I know, PRL is the only company that has a larger um, math housing size um, out in the market right now um, for the CVTs. Um, I do not know any other company, although I do know that 271 is the development for their race math, but no word yet on if they're working with KTuner so that their race math calibration will be on the base maps. We'll just have to see. But moving next to the quick adjustments. From here, these are the ones you really want to um, tweak around to kind of tailor it to what you want your car um, to change. So you throttle response, you can change that to make it more aggressive, more responsive. Turbo spool wise, the different levels for the improved spool, um, the advanced VSA, the traction control, 
depending on how much of a ignition pullback do you want and also a throttle pullback. And also the choice of what you want your eco button to do. And then you have the 2 and 1, 2 and 3. You can all change the responsiveness. For basically on the fly map switching. And same thing, what you want the eco button to do when you're in tune one, or map one, map two, map three, and your boost target ramp, how do you want it? How aggressive do you want it? Quick enables your your turbo early spool, and then the advanced VSA option. Also, there is an option to fiddle around with custom boost by gear limits. Um, I highly suggest that you do not mess with these unless you really know what you're doing. Um, for the most part, CVTs are pretty hard to screw up in regards to these boost levels. But people have proved me wrong occasionally with how they treat their cars, but for the general population that does use this program, as long as you're not stupid, you'll be you'll be pretty good. So those are the main ones here. One other thing that you may need to really take a look at, if you do have flex fuel, you want to enable that flex fuel on your secondary ECT. So what would be my recommended setting options for what you want to change, I guess, from stock calibration to, I guess, this upgraded base map? What I would do, quick settings, improve throttle response 2, improve spool 2, change it to aggressive ignition pullback, but light throttle pullback. I changed the eco button on to just regular normalized throttle. Map 3, you want improved response. Um, leave it at custom boost level. Eco, leave it alone. Aggressive ramp for your quick enables, early swool, advanced VSA. Um, boost. By gear limit, I'd leave it at 18, 18 PSI for gear one. Everything else, leave it as custom boost level. And I would basically upload this tune onto your K tuner unit. So that's what I would recommend. If you're new to the K-Tuner scene, the Honda, or the, the 10th gen Honda scene, um, and, but you want to make your car a little bit peppier, you haven't done really any mods, all you did was buy your car, maybe buy some cosmetic stuff, and you heard about K-Tuner and you bought it, um, use those settings, upload it, flash your car with it, and you'll notice a very big difference. But that's about it, folks. Hope you enjoyed.